वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सिसरुता आयुर्वेदा प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू आर वीडियो ऑन पंच महाभूटा इन आयुर्वेदा इन आयुर्वेदा पंच महाभूटा रिफर्स टू द फाइव बेसिक एलिमेंट्स दैट मेक अप द यूनिवर्स एंड एवरीथिंग इन इट इंक्लूडिंग द ह्यूमन बॉडी दीज फाइव एलिमेंट्स आर पृथ्वी अर्थ रिप्रेजेंट्स द सॉलिड एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द बॉडी इंक्लूडिंग द बोन्स एंड मसल्स Jala water represents the liquid aspect of the body including blood lymph and other bodily fluids Agni fire represents the energy aspect of the body including metabolism and digestion Vayu air represents the movement aspect of the body including breathing and circulation Akasha ether represents the space aspect of the body including the cavities and hollow organs each of these elements is believed to have a specific quality and function in the body and they are all thought to be in a state of constant interaction and balance an imbalance in any of the elements can lead to various health issues Ayurvedic practitioners use this understanding of the pancha mahabhuta to diagnose and treat health issues. They use a combination of herbal remedies, diet and lifestyle changes and other therapies to restore balance to the elements and promote overall health and well-being. In Ayurveda, Prithvi Mahabhuta, also known as the earth element, is one of the five basic elements that make up the universe and the human body the other four elements are jala water agni fire vayu air and akasha ether prithvi mahabhuta represents the solid aspect of the body including the bones muscles and structural integrity of the body It is also associated with the sense of smell in the earth and its heavy qualities. It is an important constituent that helps in understanding the balance of the structural aspect of the body. An imbalance in Prithvi Mahabhuta can lead to various health issues such as osteoporosis, arthritis, and constipation. Symptoms of an imbalance in Prithvi Mahabhuta may include joint pain, stiffness, and constipation management a diet that is high in calcium magnesium and vitamin d such as dairy products leafy green vegetables and fatty fish can help to support the prithvi mahabhuta in addition ayurvedic herbs such as gugulu shankha pushpi and shalaki are known to nourish and strengthen the prithvi mahabhuta Practicing yoga and regular physical exercise can also help to balance the Prithvi Mahabhuta by promoting bone and joint health. Jala Mahabhuta, also known as the water element, is one of the five basic elements that make up the universe and the human body. Jala Mahabhuta represents the liquid aspect of the body, including blood, lymph, and other bodily fluids. It is also associated with a sense of taste and cold and heavy qualities. An imbalance in Jala Mahabhuta can lead to various health issues such as edema, high blood pressure, and dehydration. Symptoms of an imbalance in Jala Mahabhuta may include swelling, water retention, and dryness. Management, a diet that is high in water-rich fruits and vegetables, such as cucumbers watermelon and berries can help to support the jala mahabhuta in addition ayurvedic herbs such as punarnava gokshura and licorice are known to nourish and strengthen the jala mahabhuta drinking enough water and staying hydrated practicing yoga and regular physical exercise can also help to balance the jala mahabhuta by promoting proper fluid balance and overall health and well-being
In Ayurveda, Agni Mahabhuta is also known as the fire element. Agni Mahabhuta represents the energy aspect of the body, including metabolism, digestion, and the body's ability to absorb and utilize nutrients. It is also associated with the sense of sight and the hot and sharp qualities. An imbalance in Agni Mahabhuta can lead to various health issues such as indigestion, acid reflux, and weight gain. Symptoms of an imbalance in Agni Mahabhuta may include heartburn, bloating, and poor digestion. Treatment A diet that is low in calories, high in fiber, and rich in fruits and vegetables can help to support the Agni Mahabhuta. In addition, Ayurvedic herbs such as Trifala, Gugulu, and Gudichi are known to nourish and strengthen the Agni Mahabhuta. Regular physical exercise and yoga can also help to balance the Agni Mahabhuta by promoting weight loss, reducing stress, and promoting overall health and well-being. Next is, Vayu Mahabhuta, also known as the air element, is one of the five basic elements that make up the universe and the human body. Vayu Mahabhuta represents the movement aspect of the body, including breathing, circulation, and muscle movement. It is also associated with the sense of touch and the light and dry qualities. An imbalance in Vayu Mahabhuta can lead to various health issues such as gas, constipation, and muscle stiffness. Symptoms of an imbalance in Vayu Mahabhuta may include bloating, flatulence, and muscle stiffness. Treatment A diet that is high in fiber and low in processed foods can help to support the Vayu Mahabhuta. In addition, Ayurvedic herbs such as ginger, turmeric, and fennel are known to nourish and strengthen the Vayu Mahabhuta. Practicing yoga, regular physical exercise and pranayama can also help to balance the Vayu Mahabhuta by promoting proper circulation, digestion and overall health and well-being. The last one is Akasha Mahabhuta, also known as the ether element. It represents the space aspect of the body, including the cavities and hollow organs such as the ears, nose, and throat. It is also associated with the sense of hearing and the light and dry qualities. An imbalance in Akasha Mahabhuta can lead to various health issues such as sinusitis, ear infections, and throat issues. Symptoms of an imbalance in Akasha Mahabhuta may include nasal congestion, earaches, and sore throat. Treatment A diet that is high in vitamin C and bioflavonoids, such as citrus fruits, berries, and bell peppers can help to support the Akasha Mahabhuta. In addition, Ayurvedic herbs such as licorice, neem, and tulsi are known to nourish and strengthen the Akasha Mahabhuta. Practicing yoga and pranayama can also help to balance the Akasha Mahabhuta by promoting proper circulation and overall health and well-being. In last we can take a short conclusion note that all Mahabhuta constitute the entire universe and all living body is. Prithivi solid part of an out of body. Agni metabolism or lightning in body. Jala liquid fraction of body. Vayu movement in and out of the body akasha vacant or empty space in and out of the body. Variations in their fraction in contributing lead to various different objects and living organisms. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Ayurveda, be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos.